Thank you, baby. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Rose. Welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And around here, we do vegan recipes and lifestyle videos and just things to help you live a better lifestyle and live a happier lifestyle and be more productive. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to become a morning person and how I mastered becoming a morning person. Although I've always been a morning person in the way that I actually wake up in a good mood. So I don't wake up cranky, I'm usually in a good mood when I wake up, but waking up really early is a whole different story. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I managed to get in the flow of it. Now you might be asking, Rose, why do we have to become a morning person? When you learn to master how to be a morning person and how to wake up early, mornings become more calm, which leads to a better, smoother day. Most people are more productive in the morning hours when you're just waking up and your mind is clear and rested. So let's move on to the tips. Tip number one is set your alarm clock 15 minutes back each night. So every night before you go to sleep and you set your alarm clock, set it back 15 minutes. You don't necessarily have to set it back all the way to like 5.30 or 5 a.m. all in one shot. Do it 15 minutes a day and that's going to help you like slowly make the progress. Tip number two is plan an exciting breakfast. And if you want to take it a step further, prep your breakfast at nighttime, like making some sort of overnight oats. I actually have a recipe for overnight oats on my blog. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be down below. Tip number three is begin a routine and stick to it. In getting your routine together, I suggest making a schedule and a to-do list. I plan every single day, the night before, and sometimes I go as far as planning my entire week on a Sunday night when I know exactly what I need to get done. And then that makes it so much more productive when you wake up in the morning and you know exactly what it is that you have to do. Tip number four is do what you enjoy the most first. So from the first task, do what you enjoy the most. So if one of your things is meditation and you enjoy meditation do your meditation first if another thing is making breakfast because some people actually enjoy and feel relaxed when making meals so do that first for example for me one of my most relaxing things and the one of the things that i actually look forward to in the morning is to doing just some of my computer work so i just love doing like from 6 a.m to 7 a.m i get a chunk of my computer work out of the way number five is go to sleep early and I know some people are so against going to sleep early and I know because I was one of those people who did not want to go to sleep early because I felt like I was going through FOMO and I was just going to be missing out on something. However, if you want to achieve that optimal productivity that you know that you are capable of, you must wake up early. And the easiest way to wake up early is being well rested. Being well rested, if you're waking up earlier, means you got to go to sleep earlier. So. The 15 minutes earlier that you're setting your clock, you're gonna go to sleep 15 minutes earlier. Every day, 15 minutes earlier, and then go to sleep 15 minutes earlier, so on and so forth. Number six, I think this is either one of the most important ones or the most important one, especially for me personally. And that is, wait for it, no snooze button. Do not hit the snooze button. I'm telling you, you guys, the first week or so, it's gonna drag and you're not gonna like it. Of course, you're not. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and tell you, oh, it's gonna be so awesome waking up really early the first couple days. No, it's, it's not gonna be awesome. But your body will adjust and the easiest way to do that is by not fighting your alarm clock. So as soon as it rings, you get up and then turn it off and start on with your day. It's something about us that is like programmed to hit that snooze button and curl back into bed and fall back to sleep. So don't do it. Fight the urge. Don't do it. Be strong. I'm telling you, it's going to pay off. You're going to be successful if you don't hit the snooze button. If you are tempted and you know you're going to hit that snooze button, keep your phone at the other end of the room so that you're forced to actually get up when the alarm clock goes off. Oh, and a quick little tip. Don't use a song that you like as a ringtone in the morning because you're gonna end up hating it. Number seven is schedule your most important plans for the morning. 
So out of like the top three things that you need to get done during the day, as long as the hours permit you actually getting it done early, get it done early because you're going to be the most productive, the most clear minded. Your mind is going to be so much more open and willing to get the things done that you really, really need to get done. So you're going to get the most important things done early. That way, if any of the other little things tend to kind of like fall off during the day, uh, in your schedule, it's not as bad because you've already gotten those main things out of the way. And it's going to be way easier to do in the morning than you think. Trust me. Number eight, and this is another big one. And this is maintaining your schedule. I know this is going to sound like crazy to a lot of people. And by maintaining your schedule, I mean, even on the weekend, wake up early and go to sleep early whenever you can. And I don't mean go to sleep at the same exact time and wake up super, super early. However, I mean, don't make it a habit to sleep in every day of the weekend because when, when Monday rolls around, you're going to be stuck in that weekend habit of going to sleep later and waking up later. And you're just going to be setting yourself back. Trust me. I know I've gone through it so many times in my process of trying to wake up earlier. So that's not me saying don't ever sleep in and don't ever go to sleep late on the weekend. My point is don't try to not make it a every weekend thing or every day of the weekend thing and don't sleep in super late, you know, still keep it at a decent time so that you can still reset yourself in on Monday and be ready for the week. And to be honest, either way, once you get into the habit of waking up early, your body is going to wake up early no matter what. For example, with me, even if I go to sleep late some weekends because we go out on the weekends and we come home late and even when that happens, I still, my body just wakes me up super early and what I do is I allow myself to wake up but I'll just stay in bed for longer to rest my body but I will allow myself to wake up because there's really no going back to sleep after a certain time for me anymore. Number nine is create a bedtime routine. Creating a bedtime routine and sticking to a bedtime routine is as important as having a morning routine. Your morning routine is literally gonna start at night. So at nighttime, whatever it is that you have to do to keep your mind from being on that go, 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 like running uh, mode, you do that. If you have to turn off the TVs, turn off the screen times, do some breathing exercises, meditation, reading a book, doing some sleeping yoga, Whatever it is that you feel like you need to do in order to relax everything, dim down the, net, the lights, I don't know, light a candle, turn on your salt lamp, whatever it is that gets you in a relaxed state of mind and your body nice and relaxed, that's what you should be doing at nighttime before your more early morning routine kicks in because you'll feel so much better waking up earlier rather than going to sleep on the go, 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 and then waking up early to go, go, go again. But here's another thing. Once you get your morning routine going and you're going to be much more productive in the morning, it's going to be so much more easy at night and so much more relaxing your nighttime routine because you're not going to be overwhelmed with a bunch of things that you have to do late because you've gotten them done early in the morning. Number 10, last but not least, is be positive and stay positive. During this process of you becoming a morning person, it's going to be a little difficult the first week or so. And it's going to be, it, it'd be easy to just quit and say, you know what? No, I'm going to wake up at eight and that's it. But stick with it. I promise you guys, you guys are going to be feeling so much more fulfilled and you're going to get so much more done. Is this is waking up early is such a great habit to form and you're going to notice how much more things you can get done and how much more successful you can actually become by waking up early, getting things done in the morning while your mind is just fresh and ready to go. Not to mention another thing is after a while of you waking up early and going to sleep early and having that routine all set, you're not even going to need an alarm clock. And to be honest, it's not even going to bother you waking up early anymore. You're going to be, your body is going to adjust, your internal clock is going to adjust, and you're just automatically going to wake up before your alarm clock even goes off because that's what, ha what happens to me. I don't need an alarm clock. However, I do set it just in case. But 
I wake up before my alarm clock goes off. When I look at the time, my alarm clock is ready to go off in about 10 minutes. So your body will adjust. I promise you, stick to it. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. And uh, yeah, the most successful people out there wake up early and get their things done early because they know how productive it is. So if you want a successful, productive life and you're not waking up early, get on it. You'll see the difference. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Rose again. I will talk to you guys very soon. I love you all. Bye.